Hello and welcome to Cinemastrophe. I'm Don Perrion, saving you from getting ripped off. Well, it's Thanksgiving, the time of year we all give thanks for the things in our lives. I'm thankful for my health, having a loving family, you, the fans, boobs, edible panties, white Reese's, those little hard candies on the top of cupcakes. But mostly, I'm thankful that this piece of shit is only an hour and six minutes long. Thanks Killing is brought to us by Gravitas Ventures, a company whose background I really didn't care enough to look into. I started to, but then got really bored really quickly. The movie was directed by Jordan Downey, who also directed the sequel. Wait, wait, what? There's a second one? Well, that ruins one of the things I would have been grateful for next year. Warning. Boobs in the first second. I think you two meant to put his attention. Boobs in the first second. Cold classic my ass. Four years from now, no one will remember this exists. Much like today, where almost no one knows this exists. Best worst movie ever. Bullshit! Everybody knows Twilight Breaking Dawn Part 2 is the best worst movie ever. Only to be followed by the Star Wars prequels. Oh, bet! Oh, oh! Oh, bet! The movie starts out, wait, broad daylight pictures. Great, even the movie doesn't know whose ass it squirted out of. Well, the movie's already lied to us. It's been 23 seconds and no tits. I guess they didn't like the stuffing. A topless pilgrim is running through the forest because bras hadn't been invented then, so some spillage every now and then was expected. She's running from an unknown assailant when she trips over a rock. Not to worry though, her fall was well cushioned. Nuts tits, bitch. That's our killer turkey, everyone. What do you think? No, sir, I don't like it. He looks like a sunburned Skeksis. <laughs> this leads to the title sequence, which I have to admit is pretty fucking awesome looking. Sadly, I'm being serious. This is the best looking thing in the whole movie. The music is good too, even if it does sound a little familiar. Anyway, it's Thanksgiving break, and a group of college kids are finishing up the last of their classes. Yeah! Thanksgiving break! Yes! Yes! Yeah! Thanksgiving break, guys! Let's get wasted! Who the hell gets excited over Thanksgiving break? It's two fucking days! Woohoo! Four day weekend! Then again, judging by the size of his stomach, I know why this is his favorite time of year. The group will all going to travel home together since they all live in the same town, I guess. Except this guy. He never mentions having a family to go home to. He just rides along with them, which makes me wonder... Where did they leave him when they got home? I like turtles. Elsewhere, a hermit and his dog are out in the woods when the dog runs off to piss on a tiny totem pole, bringing the turkey back to life. You know what? It's a killer turkey. Any other questions associated with it? It's just inconsequential. Back on Idiot Road. So that's what they called it before Idiot Crater. The group starts... Oh right, I forgot they have names. Doofus, Stupid, Tubby, Slut, Dork, Yakko, Wacko, and Dot. 
Anyway, they go around saying what they're thankful for when Dork starts talking about going wild and having sex with someone in a car over the weekend. Well, it isn't gonna be me. I'm a prude. Oh, please, Ali. Your legs are harder to shut than the John Benet Ramsey case. Oh, snap. Well, that doesn't date this at all. Their car breaks down, so they decide to camp where they are for the night and fix it in the morning rather than calling a tow truck. I would say this is stupid, but it really is the smartest thing they do in the movie. Dork finds a sign in the grass that says Crawberg. Crawberg? Where have I heard that name before? Remembering where he heard the name before, he tells the group the legend of the killer turkey. If it's anything like the secret of the ooze, they're going to be very disappointed. Back in the 1500s, in the settlement of Kralberg, an old Indian by the name of Feathercloud, who some people thought had black magic powers. Did they gush out of his nipples because they looked like they'd been overly milked? Basically, Tubby's ancestor pissed this guy off, so he put a curse on the white man. So now you know why white men can't jump. Feathercloud necromanced a turk and roamed the earth every 505 years, killing the first humans he made contact with. Yeah, he wasn't any good at doing black magic. That was the only spell he really knew. Most of the time, he just stood around waving his hands, going, Ooga, 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 Well, it's kind of a legend, guys. There are tons of books written about it. I think you got that confused. There are tons of books about killing turkeys. Not killer turkey. Nearby in the woods, the hermit finds his dog dead with turkey. Yes, that's his name. Who confesses to killing the dog? Turkey, you demon. So long, sucker. <laughs> I will get you, turkey. I'll get you if it's the last thing I ever do. Why? Why? Stupid forgets to tell her father that she's camping out for the night and goes to find a signal when she runs into turkey. There's no such thing as an evil turkey. Oh wait, I lied. <laughs> How am I stuck when there's nothing fucking there? Jesus, Kristen, what happened to you? You were right, Darren. Your story was true. There is an evil turkey on the loose. Kill a turkey? That can't be real. Let's just continue camping out in the middle of nowhere. I'm sure we'll be fine. I don't know where you went. Well, I don't see anything. Let's just go to bed. Everything's gonna be okay. You know, I can't tell if their acting is really this bad or if they're acting this bad on purpose. It seems almost fake. I'm pretty sure it's the former, because according to IMDb, the career of everyone in this movie went down to shitter after this. And we all know if it's an IMDb, it's an absolute fact. The next morning, Tubby wakes up to a hillbilly welcome. The hermit says he saved Tubby from the turkey and that he plans to kill turkey, so they should be on their way. Seeing how this guy has been living alone for quite some time, Tubby might want to check around for an open case of Vaseline. Just to be sure. The Special Olympics team takes off, and Turkey follows them by hijacking a car. Ass, gas, or grass? Well, I'm out of gas. Guess I'll take ass. It's a fucking talking turkey. Is that a normal thing in Hicksville? Do turkeys just walk around making complete sentences? Or do the people in this town just think that Animal Farm was a true story? Hmm. Now that's what I call a tight ass. Yeah. Oh, please, mister. Please. <laughs> well, that was pointless. And stupid. The first person dropped off is Slut, who just has to get her last flirt in with Doofus. Oh, looks like somebody's trying to get with you, Johnny. Haven't you noticed? She tries that with everyone. It's like her legs are harder to shut than the John Benet Ramsey case. Oh, oh shit! Because it was so funny the first time. 
Doofus is home, talking with his dad, just in time to see him decapitated by a turkey. Go team, Johnny. Ah. Well, I know what future this holds. Throw it back, Dad. Dad? After his parents are killed, Doofus gathers the special egg club to tell him what happens, but the slut is still at home doing what sluts do naturally. God damn it, Grant. You really don't last that long, do you? No, no, I, I can't. I, I can't. I can't. I can't. I refuse. I, I refuse to dignify this with a joke. Damn, that was good. You just got stopped. This is bad comedy. <laughs> Heading over to Slut's house, Doofus goes inside to check on her. Do you think we made it in time? Don't even talk like that, Billy. At least her legs were harder to close than John Benet. Shut the fuck up! Is she? Is she? Yes, guys. She's dead. Gee, what a loss. The world will never be the same without her. They decide that their best course of action is to read about how to kill Turkey, so they head to Stupid's house because the libraries are closed and her dad has a garage full of books, but Turkey gets there before them and... Those darn kids. <clears throat> Down here. Oh! Well, hello there, little buddy. What can I do you for? Yeah, um... <sighs> Ma, Pa won't talk to me. I nudged him and I nudged him. But he's awfully still. <laughs> oh, uh, hello, sweetie. How are you? Daddy. You look different. Oh, you got a haircut. Yeah. Uh-oh, retard alert. Retard alert, class. She takes them into the garage to search for the book, where Turkey could end the movie by locking them in and burning the house down. Please let him lock them in and burn the house down. He'd actually be doing the world a kindness. After a search montage, they find the book they're looking for, which says they have to remove a magic talisman from Turkey, but the rest of the instructions are written in code. Well, there's your problem. What he said isn't even written in there. Just the history of Thanksgiving, followed by someone's algebra homework. Tubby gets hungry, big surprise there, and goes to the kitchen where he sees Turkey dragging Stupid's father's body away. After bellowing an alarm, he takes Turkey by surprise with his ultimate secret attack. Oh, Nelson! They get the talisman, but Turkey manages to escape, making Tubby really pissed off. My guess is it's over the fact that he just let his next meal get away. Tubby is walking down the street, again complaining about how he's hungry, where he sees a turkey on the ground, so he picks it up and eats it. I would make a joke about how stupid this is, but I've known people who've done this. And no, they weren't homeless. Notice I said known. No, I don't know why he would eat a cartoon glowing turkey. Your favorite food's fighting you. Fight back fast with Tums. After finding Tubby's body, they head to Turkey's teepee, because the book said that's where he lives, to kill him. Having cracked the code, they discover that they have to say a demonic prayer backwards and burn Turkey at the stake. Rather than just setting the teepee on fire and saying the prayer, they decide the wisest thing to do is to go inside. It's like we're smart, but we're not. <laughs> After they say the prayer, Turkey escapes again, only to be shot by the hillbilly. Kill that son of a bitch, he's in that dumpster right over there. You don't understand. He needs to be killed in a certain way. If he isn't, who knows what might happen. Oh. Yep, he's dead. Gotcha, bitch! They go back to Stupid's house to watch a movie when Doofus asks her to go steady. I'm gonna go pee now. Yeah, right. 
you know you're gonna go get some lotion and enjoy the show. Because Turkey landed in radioactive waste, he comes back to life, killing Dork and Doofus. Hooray! Before Stupid finally finishes him off. This movie was a turkey, all right. They didn't even have enough plot to fill out an hour with this shit. If you remove the filler, and there's a lot of it, you have about 20 to 30 minutes tops of footage actually related to the plot. The jokes and puns were terrible. Had they actually been funny and clever jokes, it might, and that's a big might, have at least made this movie somewhat entertaining. So in conclusion, gobble gobble bitch. Here's one, oh, back to the first!